What's up guys, this is Steve Place. I'm here with my friend Garrett, Lauren Savinska, and we are gonna have another Zelda cooking challenge. I'm so hyped and I hope you guys are too because the last video was a lot of fun. I think, I think, I, I Link. hear something. Link. Is that Zelda calling her name? We gotta go, man. Go, go, go. Okay, so I'm now choosing my dish or my lunch, I guess. What would you call this? This will be the entree. Entree, okay guys. So with the entree, I'm actually gonna decide seafood palais or Pal Palais? I don't know how to say that really. Okay. Oh, so, that's a lot of ingredients. That's a lot of stuff, but lucky for me, we do not have to find things. Now, for the drink, I'm gonna go with some nice Dr. Pepper. I think this looks a lot like Dr. Pepper, so I think it's a great idea to go for it. Let's check it out. Look at Link holding them off. Pretty awesome. Let's see how this goes. Cooking it right here. Get that nice view of Link. Smiling at the clip. There we go. Look at that, a good 12 hearts. No fisherman's birthday. Could be com uh, more complete with this top shelf seafood dish. You heard it from Has the game. Hashtag, top shelf. Hashtag to all the fishers out there. Yeah, if you're a fisherman, vote for me. I will gladly help you get the fish you need. <laughs> I'm gonna cook really good like Gordon Ramsay. All right, guys. You like my orange hair, just like tea plays. Comment down below if it's better or worse. Better. Um, oh <laughs> um, my God. Basically, guys, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cooking something really good, better than tea plays. So let's see what we got. All right. So going into our inventory, just gonna shop around and see what we got that's actually very interesting because tea plays has already put up a really good fight with the fisherman's plate. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to continue on the fish route, but you know, I'm feeling a little farmy. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm just like, like plow the plow the fields, get that cattle, smack the cattle, and they'll plow the fields for you. I don't believe Sea Place has this currently on, but let me see if I can find it. If not, I shall overcome. So sp spicy pepper steak, similar, not exact. There's no peppers. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. No, it's not the exact. Uh, thing we need, but definitely maybe adding a shroom of any kind to any meat will definitely help us in our quest. It's got spice. Everyone loves spice. Everyone loves some spice. Trust me, you do not want to get into the spice game. So, personally, I love spice, so this is a great thing for me. Yeah, if you're in the Star Wars universe, it's better if you don't like spice, because that's drug kids. Don't do drugs. My first one, I'm going to take the raw meat. So let's go ahead and equip this. Um, definitely need some sort of veggie at your side, so healing herbs will go perfect with that. Um, probably add a thistle just for some medicine purposes. Okay. And uh, okay. definitely might add some fruit just to make sure that the balance- Fruit is in the, uh, all the way front, not that way. Left. Got it, got it, got it. Yep. Uh, so definitely adding some fruit will also guarantee that the mixture, whenever it's cooking, is balanced between uh, a heavy veggie and a heavy fruit dish. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And I honestly, I'm a little intimidated on adding anything else other than that. Let's go back and let's go see if this dish is a disastrous disaster, which is probably gonna end up so, or if this horn head creature can actually do something with the kitchen. All right, <laughs> let's see. Bam! Oh yeah. Mighty salt grilled I don't even remember where I put it. It's like, oh, yeah. What do we get? So, fireproof like Alexa, you need two fireproof lizards and a vocabulary horn. Lucky for me, we have vocabulary horns, but I've not checked for fireproof lizards, so let's check real quick. Please tell me I have them. Hold up. Oh, no. No! And we're not allowed to go hunt, are we? We are not allowed to go hunt. Okay. But this is it. This is a sort of wine in my opinion. This no. No! Oh! What? We have the result. Oh, he looks furiously. No, it's not a dubious fruit. It's a shimmer fruit. As Link wakes up from the fireplace, he knows what he must do to conquer this village. He must marry the old lady's daughter Give her the food she must obtain, and they will own the village together. 
and become rulers of Kakariko Village. He moves up the steps, moves into the house, and opens the door. Only if you give my daughter the food she was destined to eat. To marry you and for you to become king of this village, I need to eat the destined food. And now I start out with my seafood palo. I let her eat it. Mmm, she loves it. And she drinks her wine. Mmm, delicious. Afterwards, I give her my dessert. Wonderful, dubious food. She eats it. Disgusted, but is now married to the man who is now the king of the village. As I scouted the land, I have found the first village of my conquest. The conquest of the buds. The taste buds. However, I have landed into non friendly territory. The lady disgraces my name, my power, but she shall be paid back in full. I kick open the doors, and I see the daughter sitting at the corner like a spade. Rightfully so. I walk in slowly, excuse me. She diss. I couldn't even recognize her face, for it has been riddled with scars of war in her age. I continue my conversation. She stares tiredly and shakes her head, for she has been unsatisfied with her her rule, and so has her people been unsatisfied with her. Thus, continue to lead my people. However, my age prevents me from doing so, and therefore, I must transmit power to someone. If you cook me one dish, my dying wish is to have my dish nice, sautéed, and very, very meaty. I turn to the side, and I snicker, snicker, and I look over at the, at the daughter, who may be motherless within the next five minutes. Who may be motherless within the next five minutes. I open my inventory, and I grab the sacred dish, the meaty, gritty, salty, meaty, mighty, meats. And I present it to her, and she gulps it down like fish in the Sunday afternoon. And I present to her my drink, the drink that will be her last, the drink that will fill her lungs with blood. I present the drink to her. She gulps it down with furiosity, and how rightfully so, for she will go down the same fate. And she continues to the grateful section of the meal, the fruit section. And she eats it with delight, for it will be the last sweetness she ever tastes before she dies, and walked out victorious, king of the new land. And there you go, the story of Link. What happens after he's done destroying Ganon and conquering Kakariko Village? <laughs> okay. That was like a kid, bro. Okay, let's go. That was <laughs> Forgot how to make the cake. Really? Yeah, I'm being completely honest. I really forgot. You're, really just, you're just gonna Gordon Ramsay at the last second? Yes. This is. We're keeping that in, definitely. Okay, uh. I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. Slurpy as steak, we got, and that is the raw gourmet. I just put a dent in my screen. I should never slap my computer like that. Seasoning. If you don't have seasoning on your steak, you're literally a Viking. <laughs> See? Get a little closer, don't burn up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. May I ask why you're trying to put up wine with seafood? Seafood's already intoxicating yes. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow and dawn. I'll see you tomorrow and dawn.